hey vivian again this is one of those things where it's easier to demonstrate i think that you use um paint for your images etc um, so I'm going to show you in paint if that, if you have some other program that you use, let me know and I'll see if it would make sense for you, for me to do it in that. But what they're talking about in this email is if you go to the color wheel, uh, the easiest one to demonstrate is the, the RGB, which is the red, green, blue, and that's this one here in the middle. So if you put the... Um, the red number over here on the color under the uh, rainbow where you can select a color just by eye and you put it to zero and then the green is 85 so no red green and then on the blue 150 then that's your um, that's your LWV blue so I can add that to custom colors and then it, it should stay there and then I can come back and always select it so I don't have to go through that mishmash um, before so let's say I wanted to have the same red everywhere if I pick the red that I want well that red's a little bit too uh, well that's a little bit too magenta I'll start with this red or here let's just use this red these guys are usually the traditional ones so the red green blue here is pretty easy it's just red 255 it's not really the red that that LWV uses theirs is a little bit darker uh, I always think of it as blood red forgive me so I'm gonna slide this slider down that's pretty close to what it is and then I realize that it's 210 but again if I add it to my custom colors I'm going to select this white box for first though and then I'm going to put this back to because otherwise it'll cover up the blue one I forgot I haven't used paint in a while I'll make red 210 green 0 and blue 0 and there's my red and I'll add it to custom colors now I've got the red and the blue that I can use all the time I don't know if this is the exact one or not, but um, it, it, to my eye, it's pretty close. But it doesn't matter. As long as all the reds are the same or all the blues are the same, um, that, that's all I aim for. But again, don't let me nitpick you. Um, you have m lots of work to do and bigger and more important things to do than worry about this. But anyway, that's how you do it. So if I click OK, let's just go back and see if on our color wheel it saved it and look it even it even saved I think that's the red that we just we just had uh, yeah there's our red and there's our blue the trick here is to remember to um, to select an empty square before you um, add a new color so um, on these other guys the C M Y and K um, I forget what they refer to. The hex colors I use all the time. Some programs you can set this six-digit number um, for the color. It just depends on, on what you're going to use. In Microsoft Word, um, for example, let's see if we take page borders and we want to we want to control the color. I'll have to make it bigger. Sorry can't see all the little options. They set page borders and I, I pick what kind of border I want. I don't know if it works the same in, in WordPerfect. I pick out that double, double one which looks very nice and the automatic color of course is black. As you can see here's our our blue is is there pr pretty much already and then um, because I use this red so much, this dark red, then then that's already there. Uh, but if you do more colors, then you get a color wheel from them. And let me see, sometimes I'm good at figuring those out. But here, 
where it says color model RGB, again, we can do the same thing. If I put in 210, there's the red that we made over in paint. Um, and then here's the hex number. Let me see what the what they said in the, um, the hex number was 005596. I can change the hex number to, I think it's a zero. I'm going to put, oh gosh, now I lost the thing. Um, let's see. It looks like a zero and not a, an O. 005596. Let's try that. 005596. Okay, and if I hit enter, then there's your blue. Okay, again, I can go back and look at the um, at the more colors again, and there's there's the blue, which is pretty close to our. I mean, that is our LWV blue, but it's pretty close to the one that's already there in in Microsoft. When you print it, it's gonna it's gonna change the shading a little bit anyway, depending on your ink, on your printer, on your paper. But it's gonna be way close enough to be good. So that's what the hex is. It's six numbers. Sometimes one of them is a letter one or two maybe are a letter and so um, here you don't really have the option to save it as a color but if you use it a lot it winds up um, being uh, one of your standard colors like I've got down here because I probably have used these guys recently so um, there's an example of how the, the hex part works the other ones are for I think the top ones that were in that that email are for if you're doing coding for um, web design and of course I'm not using anything that that's that is that complex or complicated so that one I can't really demonstrate but anyway that's what it's all about I don't know why I find that stuff fascinating but but somehow I I really do um, anyhow uh, that's a little bit of information that you might have been looking for that may be useful or not, but there it is anyway.